Hi and welcome to the EOCT prep series. This is SSEF1C, list a variety of strategies for allocating scarce resources. First, let's talk a little about uh, vocabulary here. Um, a strategy is a goal that you might make. A uh, strategy is used in war. Uh, video games involve strategy. Taking tests involve strategies. Perhaps you like to look at the hardest questions first. Um, allocate means to give out. So perhaps your mom allocates a certain amount of money to you during the week for your lunch. That would be a way to allocate resources. Um, you may allocate a certain amount of uh, your resources for, say, gas money, and you may allocate other amounts of your resources for fun on the weekends. So that's a way to do that. Scarce, of course, is uh, comes from scarcity. So that means you don't have enough of something. So you're allocating something that you really have to make a decision about. Uh, for example, allocating uh, the flu is not something we really have to do because no one wants that product. So allocating a scarce resource, something that people desire. So let's talk about some ways that you can allocate resources. One way is to do a marginal cost, marginal benefit analysis. Marginal means the value of the next item. So you don't look at the past, you look at what the next item will benefit you. And a marginal cost, marginal benefit analysis helps you do just that. If we look at the marginal cost and marginal benefit of college, the cost is $3,000 a semester, and that's your, your upfront cost. But you also have a cost of lost wages, an opportunity cost. And so the, the college actually cost you not just $3,000, but also what you gave up to do that, the next best thing, which would be working a job. And let's just say it was $10,000 a year, probably even more. So that would be $13,000 thousand uh, dollars if you did one semester or sixteen thousand dollars if you did two that's a pretty high opportunity cost however the benefit for most people is over a million dollars in lifetime income so often the cost is worth the benefit so that would be a marginal cost versus marginal benefit analysis another way to look at this is risk versus reward so for example um, you may have been tempted to sleep in uh, for class, but the risk there is that uh, your parents might find out and you might get in trouble. Um, and the reward, of course, of being able to get more sleep or play your video game or hang out at the house without having to worry about school. Another place where you can look at risk versus reward are financial products. If you have a bunch of money that you're trying to invest, you can invest in stocks, and the reward is very high, but they are very risky. You can invest in bonds. The reward here is very low, but um, the, the investment is very safe. Or you could invest in mutual funds, and those can be a great balance of safe and risky because someone is managing your portfolio and they're going to buy for you um, whatever it is that they feel is safest. So risk versus reward is an important part of uh, allocating your scarce resources, in this case your money, your financial resources. So there are a couple of ways to allocate scarce resources, but basically these are the idea of cost-benefit analysis. You look at what it's going to cost you, you look at what it's going to benefit you, and you try to make the most rational decision that you can. Um, of course, often we don't make the most rational decisions, but in economics, the rule is that rational actors make choices that are to their benefit.